entire life. I'm trapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. I, I have to get it. I have to... <sighs> Those horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box and her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. I received a... Oh, I love this song. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart. Merveille du Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. It's not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down.
right, now it's open. This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. This strange... Harry Everhart, my husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it, and some enigmatic instructions. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. We're all set, madam. The motor boat is ready. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson.